All right, so I'm uh, Jacob Christ and... Reginald Bonthorn. Okay, and uh, so what are we doing here? Well, we're going to try and come up with a, or start a collaborative project to allow people to communicate who are generally thought of as non-communicate, non-communicatable. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they're totally paralyzed, except they can move one thing, wiggle a finger or a toe. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do this with a net cost to the user of $10, 20 Awesome. And so, uh, so we met each other, we, we, we've known each other for, it seems like 15 or 16 days now. That's correct. Right? And um, uh, how did we meet? We both decided that, I, I assume you did, that this Hackaday unconference sounds interesting. Yeah. So, since Pasadena is close to where we both live, on opposite sides of Pasadena, yeah. we ended up there and we each gave some talks and something I said, I guess I was pleading for some help, um, someone in the audience turns out, oh yeah, what's you, yeah. offered some help. So, here we are. Yeah. So, so, um, so we made another video about your motivations, we'll, we'll cut it in here, I guess. Shrink. So this is your... Your uh, your original device? This version is a Scancom S. S is for speech. Uh -huh. Nowadays with an Android, you don't have to add speech. This one, the board cost about $150 plus the programming and so forth. Right, right. Then we went on to make a portable version, which was a Scancom P, and then portable with speech was a Scancom PS. Now, the originally, this was just a software program on the Apple II computer. Uh, and we thought we would have a product, but then we realized that no nurse in a hospital wants to deal with setting up a computer and uh, all the uh, approvals that that would require, as well as handling the floppy disks. For those of you who don't know a floppy disk, oh, never mind, you can look it up. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I decided, well, I guess we'd better try and do this in hardware. Now I knew a little bit about TTO circuitry and I wanted to learn about the Z80. So um, I designed the board and did all the software and uh, came up with a scanning communicator. My motivation for wanting to work with you was I saw this as a, you kind of got up there with a plea of, I don't know how to do Android programming and I'm trained to learn Android programming, and I, I, I actually have, or had at the time, a lot of what you needed to do already done, and I said, hey, this is a great project we could work on together, and uh, uh, it, it helps extend the life of, of stuff that you've worked on, you spent years working on, and uh, this uh, it gives me the ability to do some Android programming. Mm -hmm. uh, and one thing is, uh, I think the fact that uh, Hackaday has a lot of people out there yeah. who have a lot of brains right. uh, and like to try things. Uh, there's a lot of things that neither of us could do, but right. I'm sure there's someone out there who could do some of the things that needs to be done. Sure. Yeah. So I was envisioning this collaborative project, yeah. Yeah. maybe using Hackaday to reach out to the community to help us help people. To add other functionality or... Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, it certainly, I know some things you've talked about is being able to control appliances, which I know is super easy to do from an Android device. Right. And um, I, there, there's so many places you can go with this. So, awesome. Yep. Uh, and I think, uh, I, I think I already recorded a demo, and I, I think that's, that's good. So okay. it's great seeing you again. Nice seeing and, you, uh, and uh, give us a hand. See you on the Hackaday. So if I if I if I told you the opcode uh, seventy six, you could probably tell me what. Uh, no, uh, so that's machine language. The, well, the op or yeah, the opcode for the machine language. You don't know seventy six is burned into my head. It's the halt instruction. Oh, if it's the Z eighty halt instruction. It's been burned in my head for twenty five <laughs> years plus. No, very little has burned into my okay. head, or what has has right. disappeared.